Okay, and point. you like to keep him like dead center. Dead center in your capital, prepare to murder blob. Okay. Because I I like to have the FTL system that is wormhole. I'm gonna explain what wormhole does. Ah, oh, there we go. There we go. Uh, it means my little guys here are sitting right right here in orbit of this planet. If I tell them to go FTL jump, they're gonna path over to this thing okay. to then leave the system, as opposed to uh, warp. Driving in a direction. Warp, yeah. They'll just drive in any direction and um, hyperlane uh, or whatever they call it. It's bullshit yet, I think. Uh, <laughs> they're 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 going to uh, head towards uh, these cardinal points towards the next star in the hyperspace chain. Okay. But I think all those bullshit, and I'm going to go drive through this black hole uh, just to show you that I can go faster than the speed of light. These my little guys. Here they go. Sublight speed. They're just turned on fast. See? I guess in the next episode here, mm -hmm. do we, do we uh, let it go through and find oh, out where they go? Oh. Or? Shoop. Oh, Bam. Pretty. Oh, well, fucking updates. And you can see your little guys disappearing off to the void of space. Now we're gonna go watch them breathe here. They've been flushed down a toilet. And over here. Better break? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, you know, you gotta make the things for you too. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah. Okay, now so we're. all the Corvettes again? Yep, now we're back. Those are my Corvettes back, and they've plopped out. We missed the plop animation, but yeah, you get the idea. They went down the toilet bowl, now they're at the other side. And, and where are we? Now we're over in Bravain, which okay. is the next star over. So how do they get back? Oh, it's simple. I just tell them to go home. And they will head out. You're out the gate? Oh, there's no gate on this side. They just sort of uh, leave the system and hit home button. I don't know how exactly okay. it works for uh, RP-wise, but I just like to imagine there's a big red button that says, Go home. <laughs> they smack it and they go home. But we're robots, so it's probably not a big red button. I don't know. It's return. It's basically pressing they return. They have a return button, yeah. which is not really how I would imagine we're molding to... Uh, oh, no, but they had to make it somewhat practical. Playable, yeah. yeah. There's some form of asteroid dwelling there, which makes that system really fucking nice. I'm debating uh, doing a little thing called a frontier outpost, where I can build it with my construction ship. If this sun didn't have anything on it, yeah. See how it's physics research. I would roll in uh, my construction ship. I would hit uh, frontier outpost right here, which costs me 200 minerals and will cost a little bit of influence hold uh, as it's here. And I would go plunk down a frontier outpost on that thing and claim this little part of space for me, because uh, I really like that star system. But I'm gonna wait on that because a nobody really around and b it's not exactly the most crucial thing in the universe you probably gonna expand past it oh no, no i probably am it's just i want to okay. make sure that nobody else steals it. i'm used to playing over here in the tight oh okay yeah um twitchy things you know i'm i'm going it's early it's early game yep. you can probably get two three systems out yep not just stars but like Two, three planets colonized, yep. Yeah. And you do these a couple away from where you are. Uh, you do these a couple away so the border together, spread and you hit the yeah. middle. Or you do them directly next to your border or sort of a little bit off so you can just creeping spread the border faster. Yeah, okay. Um, depends what you want to do. System survey complete. Well, that turned out to be a dud. There's nothing in it. Nothing here. All these planets, we'll a couple moons. Really trippy. Looks trippy. I don't know. Maybe we'll so what I don't get is, why can't we research what's on... Oh, so we know these things do exist already when yes. we start the game. We don't know what exactly is there for resources. Yes. Okay. We don't know... So, look out here. I don't know that's... I know it's a Class A star. I don't know what the star name is, but I have a number for it. Okay. But we should know how many planets are in the system and like all that kind of stuff. Nope. Too vague. Nope. Okay. No idea. It's very far out. Uh, for a clue to real life, uh, the distances between these things, uh, like, Sigunis here would be about the distance between here and Alpha Centauri. So, okay. things over here? Uh, tens of light years or hundreds of light years? Tens of light years. Okay. Fifties of light years. Um... 
It's it's distant. So, yeah, so when you get out easy. out to these things, it's so far away you have no idea what's there. Oh, okay. You just have an idea that a it's a class A star. Hey, it's a black hole. It's about it. I mean, but we're I mean we're currently in this large period of like exoplanet discovery. So yeah, you absolutely. know, so we I I know we do know more we do know about of exoplanets stuff. and we can figure that stuff out. And this isn't too accurate on exoplanet and uh, that sort of thing. Uh, I just took the ac academic optimization, which allows me a slightly faster research speed. Good stuff. I'm going to go pop over to Ship Designer for the first time because I'm addicted to Ship Ooh, Design. Now we're doing Ship Design. Ship Design okay. is my friend. I've never understood. You've never understood Ship Design. You don't have any new features. I do, but I have deflectors. Ah. And the Fission Reactor? or uh, No, I already started the game with that. Okay. And small area lasers and all. Nope, I can get my thrusters. Yay. Okay, so over here, the first thing on the sidebar you have is your FTLs uh, method. Okay. We're using a wormhole modulator. All you need because to know you're right weird. Because you I love I love robots. Yeah. Yep. Uh, then it's your combat computer. I'm using the basic one because I don't have anything else unlocked. Uh, I have iron thrusters unlocked, which lets me move slightly faster. Uh, Sublight, of course. Uh, it costs a little more, but it's worth. Uh, yeah. And I can unlock the slightly better radar because I have slightly better radar too, mm. which gives me a little wider sensor range. It lets me know what else is up there. Now we go over here. So the first thing you gotta look at in your ship stats is your power. If that is red, you can't make the ship because it's not gonna power itself to actually. Ah, uh, I see. Yeah. So what you gotta do is see, you gotta... these are really what my issues are. Mm -hmm. Is yeah. is understanding what the ship st stats exactly mm -hmm. line up and okay. So first up, for a Corvette, you will almost always have three hundred hull points off the bat. Okay. There are things you can take that you can hull points slightly, like. That fancy commander kinds of, or yeah. fancy kinds of armor, certain kinds of commanders, that kind of shit. Uh, it's rare and few and far in between. Most likely, your Corvette will have around 300 hull points. What you can change about your Corvettes is your amount of armor and shields. Okay. Currently, we have 2% armor off, off of this. That's just the armor on your run of the mill Corvette. Okay. Such as enough. Shields. I can add shield to What am I going to do with these deflectors? And they go into A slot. They go into any of these, uh, like, Green slots. The M's oh, are okay. gases. The A is an auxiliary slot. We don't have any auxiliary technology yet to fill the slot with. What did auxiliary mean? Like um, shield capacitors or afterburners or fancy stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah. We don't have those yet. So working. M stands for medium. S is small. Okay. Uh, it's the same thing up here. You'll note that as we unlock better. And ships. when you put in like bigger or smaller things, it changes. It gets the better thing. Oh, okay. 20 power yeah, generation, it costs more, and it would cost yeah, more, yeah. and it's clunky. So I'm going to go here, and I'm going to get a. Nope, oh, too many. And now I can do this and have zero ship power extra, uh, but having extra charge in your ship grants you certain bonuses, as you'll notice down here. The most important one, which is more damage. Damage. The having excess power gives you percent increases. These little bits of increases can add up if, if it's enough extra power, but 2% isn't really worth my time for the extra cost and right now. Okay, so if you'd I'm rather make, make them cheaper. I'd rather make them slightly cheaper than have that 2%. Okay. Since it saves me a whole engine. Now, eventually I'll get better weapons and that sort of thing. I'll probably put an engine back in here, but you know, for now, um, this is Have you upgraded cheap. your. Uh, I have lasers? not upgraded. Hmm? Your lasers. I thought you just no, discovered blue. Right? I haven't gotten there yet. Okay. Uh, and we're, you know, we're cranking on it. And that, that's this for right now. We, we are a completed ship, full hull points, zero power bonus. Uh, we have combat speed of two now instead of what we had previously, which was a 1.75. And our damage has stayed about the same because. Okay. We it wants to call this Ruiner. Why don't you just call it Corvette point two, like 2.0? I, I like the name Ruiner. Yeah, but this means we now have to like, remember. No, no. It will overwrite the previous design. Oh, it's just a design name. Yep, it's oh, a design okay. menu. I'm not in the individual ships. The uh, so ship types will always stay there. The ship types yeah. will always stay there, and you can make variants on your ship types. Like, for example, say I wanted to make a slightly different quarterback. Like, I don't know. Something that's like a, a clunky ship as opposed to No, a... it's I can't do that yet. Okay. Um, or you make a lighter ship than what you even had. Or I, I make something that's baseline pathetic. This is practically a naked Corvette, uh, as a lot of people like to call them, where a naked Corvette... Why would you make a naked Corvette? Because they're cheap. Remember how there were 95 minerals at the beginning? Yeah, what is this now? 
This is now 102, which is a little bit increased. Yeah, but you I have, have more. Slightly, but okay, I have yeah. more tech on it. Yeah. I'm going to clear the design because I hate it. Oh, that's, uh, it's a personal thing. Uh, they used to be really good, but now they kind of blow. Uh, but they're very cheap to make, so if you're in a bit of an economic problem, and you don't have a lot of minerals, we have about 30 right now, we're pretty good. Uh, you can make a buttload of those dirty cheap Corvettes and upgrade them later. Mm. But right now, our, our Corvette jumps in cost from 95 to 108. Not a big difference. Not a massive a lot difference, and I'm putting problems. a lot of new bits in it, okay. like shields. So I'm now going to go over here and tell them to upgrade. They'll put all these Corvettes to the new Corvette design. Because Out they're all the supposed field, to be rumors. they have to come all the way back It has to, to go to the star, Starport, but we're already there. Starport, dock, yeah, whatever. Whatever you want to call them. Yeah. We're already in space dock. Right there. So these little arrow guys are going to happen. And we're upgraded. And that's why you really keep your ships that's close to home. That's why you keep my ships close to home, because I like continuously upgrading things. To give me that edge on, hey, my ships are better than yours. Oh, you're dead now. I assume the idea is that once you got a more expansive uh, empire, you, you build more shipyards and you keep that murder blob expanding. Yeah. Now I'm going to go over here. I'm going to uh, my engineering needs a little bit of help, so I'm going to clear that up. Uh, and once that's cleared, I'm going to go build a dude in it and then build a thingy. Uh, translate alien mural for a special project. I'm going to let him scan around first to get higher level and then do that. Uh, don't you need to be building your uh, population? Yes, I do. But we're not done colonizing that yet. And okay. for right now, this isn't too bad. Like, one mineral, one power. That's not that great. And we're all currently uh, constructing a building at the moment. Oh, boy. Uh, y5 has the spark of genius trait. Let's now make sure that Y5 is one of our tech guys. Where is my Y5? Y5 was the... Um... Oh, he's the explorer. He's no longer going to be the explorer, because Spark of Genius increases your research speed by 10%. So. Alrighty, so we're moving people around. Uh, now we got to go play the game of who gets to do what. Alright. Now, I want a Spark of Genius dude to do something important. Now, as uh, Stereo Strategy has noted, uh, we tend to do a lot of physics -y stuff. We're kind of physics -y fo focused at the moment, and that sort of thing's good. Uh, physics and engineering tend to have a couple of options in their research from the ops from the other field. Uh, All right. Just a couple of things like voidcraft can end up down here, as you can see. That's Sweet. a that's a blue number in a yellow field. So your yellow specialized dude might not be as well suited for that. Oh. Uh, but we but we like industry industry stuff too because we're a robot. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to leave that be for the moment. Yeah, but our bigger question right now is yeah. what to do with Wi Fi. Yeah, you know, what to do with Wi-Fi. So I'm going to look between physics and social, uh, the society, sorry, I used to be sociology, uh, for which I want to, to call it. I'm going to first tell him, uh, no, 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 not yet. I'm going to first sit here and go, okay, he's a statecraft guy. How much statecraft are we going to do? Not that much. I could totally just throw him off onto that science ship, let him scan around, gain levels, and gain the perk and maybe we'll get a perk for yeah but that's side, uh, his scientists. benefit is still all in society though he is still in statecraft yeah okay, yeah fine. he won't be very good at it but can he become more of a diplomat later he can become more of that discovery guy later if i sign okay, him okay. to the world so i'm going to tell this dude to get off the science ship and start being lead scientist for society research where notice he's now a oh, wow. quite good researcher because a he has more skill levels and B, he has Spark of Genius. The two of those combined... Oh, this is, this is a huge benefit to you yeah. guys who live longer yeah. and... Get get better faster. Oh, yeah. So we're going to have a very long time and with these very play with them talented for far longer. Yeah. yeah. So now we're going to go over to that poor little science ship out in the galaxy without a commander, and we can either assign this dude, who's not going to be all that great. I can dismiss him and hire somebody better. But we don't really guide anybody better. Which is and the piggies right are going to sort of die off. And the piggies will die off, but... Not too cyber piggies won't not yeah. too quickly. Um, I'm still gonna make it this dude, and I'm gonna sit we'll probably him. be a good diplomat later. Of course, you don't really have diplomacy. What's diplomat? Yeah, we kill things. <clears throat> if I need to research diplomacy and technology for some reason, like you know, making peace trees, uh, I might. I doubt it though. So, I'm now going to do a thing that's rather entertaining. Now, this is a tiny little barren-ass moon. Why would I ever want to build anything here, you say? Which system is it in? Uh, Adropa. It's over here. It, it's in a good system. It's in a good system. It has a lot of energy credits. And, importantly, it has 
a little war called Brithian, which is a fantasy war in this, well, sci-fi war in this, which uh, can be burnt to make a fuckload of power. And we um, need a fuckload of power. To do with your Pretty much. Or should we not use? The, uh, let's not mention okay. that. Okay. That's that's copyrighted. Okay. Uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go in here. I'm gonna colonize this uh, because for four hundred uh, four hundred ninety five minerals, I get to pick up a good system, have a big ass power plant, and be energy okay. producer on this rock. I'm you gonna can place only it. build on adjacent things first, right? No, no, you can build wherever is not blocked by a tile tile first. Why okay. I'm putting things these things next to things is they grant adjacency bonuses. For being of, close to being the for being next to it, so I want to put it next to my giant Brithian power plant. Right, and you're doing it and something in, else on good. The food because I'm doing it on the food because I don't need power. no food. It will give me power. Power, it to be boosted. Yeah. I could also put it the, here the ice and to the, the ice and this, and I'll eventually unlock the massive glacier. Yeah, yeah. eventually we'll get around to it. I can call this colony whatever the hell I want to, but that's it's prime name, so we love it. Yeah, we love it. <laughs> I don't care. Clearly, you're, you'll be dominating the, the first world of every system. Yes. Yeah. We're trying to. Yeah. Who knows? All right. Part of the construction ship, we have a, some extra power. Uh, it's probably going to change when we start colonizing, but uh, power, when it goes into negative, we'll just start counting down off that big number right there. So we have 1,400 uh, to just spend the money uh, in, in a bit of a deficit to make more minerals, to make more stuff. I mean, I... I if it was me, I would hold back and make sure my thing worked before no. I... Okay. It's going to work. You think 700 is good enough, or...? 1,400 is perfectly fine. 700 is a little bit iffy. Uh, hard work and experience governor has become a rapid programming trait. That's good. I'll take a look at what that exactly does, because I don't even know. Uh, oh, yeah. But now we got a high failure risk, because this dude is not good at surveying things. So I'm going to leave it be for now and tell him to just keep... Flipping around and hopefully get one of the skill upgrades. We mean high failure. Oh, on that particular that, that little science guy, that science ship dude. He's yeah. not good at surveying things anymore. He's he's a he's a bloody statecraft guy. He's not good at. So why why are we leaving him there? Why am I leaving him there? Because I have no better option to replace him with. Because if I go over here to my leader pool, yeah, I don't got nobody who's good at surveying right now. Oh, okay. Um, this dude was okay. But he's much better suited to actually researching technology. Scientists really have to be on the explore. Yes. Character. Sadly, you can't put military in them. I was about to say, if you send him to T4. Oh, I could, but, you know, he's he's a he's, he's a trigger robot. He's he's not meant to be, uh, do that sort of thing. Now, the problem over here is uh, M5, who is my governor unit here, uh, apparently has picked up rapid programming, which means that his experience gain in the future will be lessened. I don't really care about this so much because he's practically immortal anyway. And he's 18. He's so, also a governor. So like, what's... And he's a governor. Uh, well, good governors uh, could have traits such as uh, architectural interest where build cost goes down, or they could be um, another good one is administrative, and they get bonuses to a whole bunch of stuff. Hey, why don't you want the guy that has the build cost that goes down? Hmm? The build cost guy looks pretty good. Huh? The build cost piggy that you just had. Yes, but he costs another 50 um, influence to acquire, and I don't really want to spend that right now. So I only got 80 influence to start with. And, uh, and you're not really doing I'm not right? really doing much with governors, because previously governors just governed one planet. Now they govern whole sectors, all of them. Well, you haven't set up a sector yet. Nope. So I haven't even gotten to that. This is all in one base primitive ass sector, uh, but I could make new ones and do under things, but as you can tell, we're all under the wonderful governance of M7 under the decision node of uh, first module number one. Uh, that's how our government works right now, if you want to call that a government. Ever, you, but you're a gestalt mind. What, why, what is there to be governed? Nothing. Everyone thinks the same. Everyone. Uh, it's, it's, uh, I don't know, man. Is a replacement for, you know? I, I don't know. He's being trained for something. Okay, cool. That got constructed. Now I'm going to look over here. As you can tell, there's a lot of engineering research in the system, which is partially why I, I like that. Now, this cluster over here is actually quite good. This is quite nice, and it's on the edge of my, of my yeah, yeah. Uh, transport range, so I'm probably going to want to build a transporter at Ardoba here. How do you get your transport range to... Well, it's very simple. I just build a wormhole station. I click on the, the system, edge. and I build a thingy. So why don't you build it in our, our Achilles? Uh, the problem is I'll have a chunk of it not actually uh, it's not a very reality. area. It, I'm on the edge of the galaxy is the problem. 
I gotta yeah. be over here a little bit. Why, uh, do, should, is this a good time to start thinking about that? It's a good time to start thinking about that because I'm running out of stuff to survey down here. Okay. I gotta think about it. Do I want to expand this way or do I want to expand this way? I think expand towards center. Uh, that's an idea. Uh, I kind of like playing ring bandits where you sort of push around and build in a circle. Okay, okay. that you makes a lot edges. of sense in this. In this sort of build right now, it makes some sense. Yeah. So I'm going to go build this thing in Adoba after I build the um, the, no, the crap load of um, All that stuff. engineering stuff. Yeah. Because I have the resources to do that right now. I think if it's actually in the system. Mm -hmm. oh, wrong kind. Silly me. Misclick. Hate misclicks. They hate me. I'm sure we have somebody should just like keep a counter and send it to you. Yeah, I know, right? See, that, that is the good thing, because normally I tend to nitpick you on, on, on misclicks, but right now I have no real clue about how to min max what I'm this. doing at all. And which is really why we're trying to do the, the yep. stream is to, to, to learn it for ourselves. Okay. Uh, you know it a little a lot better than I do. Yep. Um, building a pop and building his thing. Just at the same time because I can. Yeah, it's just all builds. Okay. I'm just gonna clear okay, my research. I'm gonna clear that one. And just get that going. I'm setting up a project here, right? Yeah. Okay. Good boy. Uh survey an ancient marker. We apparently got four minerals down here somehow. Why did it go red? That's where you're surveying stuff. First up, in this dome. No no no. Purple. Normally, when an alien where it goes red, that's like danger mode. Oh, uh, it adapts to whatever star system I'm in. So, for example, uh, that's red. This is red. Uh, this one's so, gonna be a little pinkish. It's uh, here to make you go nuts. That's okay. It's gonna mess you up, man. It's. Yeah, I mean, sorry, the viewers that they were explaining why our alien where stuff <clears throat> works one way or another, but it's weird. I finally finished that tech yet? Jeez, come on, dude. Get along with it. It's going to take us 40 months for that spaceport. Uh, Why are you going for spaceport 2 so early? Uh, it's a good thing to get that Corvette assembly yard quick. Okay. Uh, generally, spaceports are good. Okay, we have a colony established over here. So I'm going to start building pops now. Namely, right there is 4, which is amazing. I basically mine for him. And of course, now you just sit here and just... I just build pops and pops. click things yeah. and just do this until my hand falls off, I'm blue in the face, or I go crazy, whichever comes first. Um, and that's all for now for that guy. And I'm just going to go over here because I have Mula. I'm just going to build me a spaceport because fending off other people. Okay, but that's also the move... No, that's a spaceport. Yep. Not a... Not a wormhole. Wormhole. But that system Wormhole also, has to be built by a construction ship. But that system also should have the... the this system the should have the wormhole. That was the other one. This one just started colonizing. The other one just finished colonizing. No, no, no. This system also gets the wormhole. So you're building the spaceport here because it has the wormhole. I'm going to the spaceport here and here because I'm paranoid. Oh. Because not everything will move by this matter of FTL. Ah. Other warpole assholes might just appear with a massive army and come wreck me, which might be fun. Um, I'm just going to put me a wormhole station sort of here-ish, because it's the similar direction as my previous station, back here. So I know I'm going to appear in this quadrant, so I'm going to try okay. to put them next to each other so you minimize downtime. 